Afternoon, everybody. Hello, and how are you? Do say hello when you get here. We're running around. Brenda's gone to get her block to show us, and she's finding all the things that I forgot to bring. Oh, hello, everybody. <laughs> hello. Oh, my goodness me. What a day. How are you all? Do you make a comment when you're here so we know you're here? I'm looking for the thing that tells me how many people are on. Oh, yes, I can see we've got somebody so far. Oh, yay. <laughs> oh, so that means we've got time for a sip of tea. We have indeed. Alive. Well, actually, it's coffee today. Oh, and it, and it's you. proof that I do love William Morris. It is indeed. <laughs> and this is proof I love pink, so there you go. There you go. <laughs> Cheers, my dear. Cheers, my dear. Oh. To a busy, busy day. Yes, it's been a busy day. Oh, look, I've just realised what I'm wearing. Sorry. <laughs> oh, so sexy Don't of apologise, <laughs> it's a very... It's very good that you're wearing it. Oh, it's even so... though our last customer left about an hour ago. <laughs> well, yes, this is true. <laughs> yeah, okay. This is true. Hey, Helen Jean. Hey, bit blooming wet in Carterton right now, is it? Oh, it must be on its way up here. Mm, then it'll be on its way up here. Mm. It's good because we've got um, planted some lavender hedges, so we need the rain. Mm. Sorry, Helen, <laughs> we need mm. the rain. I went yeah. out and watered my veggie garden this morning. And I thought my cauliflowers had keeled over because they were too dry, but actually they'd been blown and it broken oh. some the big le the biggest leaf on each one. I only oh, planted no. them on Sunday. Did so they go round and round, or did they, they just they got blue and they snapped? Oh. But I think I put them deep enough that they'll survive. Well, they should do. So, mm. Yeah. Oh, what a shame! That's annoying. Hi, Denny. Isn't it? Well, you've had a big shake. Oh, Ooh, hi, Jade. Did you feel that? Did you feel a shake? No, I've been running. I've been Maybe. running, like Sheila. Running. Who else felt a shake? A big one. Did you feel a shake, Jadie? I didn't feel a shake. Mm. She's in Carterton today. I wonder yeah. if she felt a shake. Hi, Jadie. How are you? Oh, we've got 23 people on now. Margaret, hello. Big shake and welly as well. <gasps> I'm surprised I didn't get a, t a text from Tom because usually we mm. text each other when there's a shake. As in, did you feel that? <laughs> no, I didn't. Get, it doesn't look like that. Jadie felt it at home. Oh. When we didn't feel it. No. We were too busy just We were busy, very busy today. around, probably. Not fluffing, <laughs> running. We were fluffing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we were fluffing. Fluffing, yeah. we would. Yeah. No. Oh, well, I hope you're all okay. And um, hi, Darren. Hope, hopefully it was just a shake and just a little, like, ooh, rather than anything, mm. any damage. Big shake in Wellington. I'll have to look on my GeoNet. Yes. Let's look on my GeoNet and see. Well, mine doesn't says. pop up with it. Mine usually pops mine, up with alerts, well, but it hasn't. Well, Earlier today, but then it was something small, and it said something about um, yeah. Well, excuse us while we just <laughs> <laughs> five point one, eighty kilometers north of French Pass. Oh, what time mm. was that? Eight minutes ago. Wow, did not feel it. No, oh. but a lot of other people in Mass have felt it, so we must be. <laughs> they have not paid Hi, attention. Hi, Fiona. <laughs> Fiona all the way Raylan. up the west as well, by the looks of it, all the way up oh. to Farmer. Oh, yes. Mm. Woo. Well, that's a little reminder, isn't it? It is. It's a bit of a wake up call to yes. remind us. Yeah. To be on our toes. Hi, June. June has arrived. Hi, Heather. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome, everybody. Um, we're very excited here because we keep getting boxes. Because. <laughs> 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 um, I think containers have made their way through and then they were sitting in Auckland Hi, and then can, then they've been unpacked in Auckland and people have been sending stuff to us. And so gradually the backlog is starting to It is starting unbacken, to come, which is good because we've had big piles of fabric. <laughs> it is big piles of fabric, but we've had people yeah. waiting for fabric as well, so yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. Hi, Jan. Hi, Gwyneth. Tegan, Hi. No, Tegan didn't feel it either. Where Isn't are you it reading funny? that? Oh, up there. Yeah. I can't actually see that. I can see some names, but oh, I didn't okay. see Tegan pop up. Mm. Sorry, Tegan. How are you today, Tegan? You must have been Did running around. Did you see my latest technology thing? Look at this. Can you, can everybody see that? Look. Up oh. In the, up, it's it's there. So everyone gets to see that as well. <laughs> I think so. Oh, yeah. I've got yeah. this porcelain, on, porcelain my head. on your head. Yeah, maybe I'll have to move it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> it's all right. It's pretty cool. Oh dear. Oh, Linda. Linda, Hi, Linda felt it too. Oh, that's good. Right. 
Have we got something to show them what we've been making this week? Um, yeah, well, I can start with mine. Mm. Do you want me mm -hmm. to start with mine? Okay, so I'm still doing the cats, everybody. So this morning, cats. running around and started sewing at 8 o'clock this morning and at 5 minutes to 9. Ta -da! Oh, look. So oh, this, I like his sort of patch. He is a patch. Eye. Yep, so here, this is <laughs> Daisy Cat. Oh, Daisy. This oh, is the cat. Well, you don't have to say her because my daisy is a him. Oh, well, there you go. So there you go. Yes. And this daisy is the other him. daisy. Um, oh, Sheila felt cat. it too. Oh, okay. Hi, Kerry. So there we go. That's me this morning rushing around. At oh, eight o'clock. So cute. Yep. So, you know what? While we're talking about Elizabeth Hartman patterns, we yes. should show them, shouldn't we? <gasps> oh, should I get them? Yes, go oh, and get them. Okay. Yeah, I'm very, very excited oh. about these. I think I'm going to have to order some more, but there's a few new Elizabeth Hartman patterns that have just arrived in, and um, they are the cutest. Hi Sue, hi Heather. Hi, Heather. Um, yes, I think, oh, and there was a big one as well, the rainforest Ooh, one. Nice. So these are Elizabeth Hartman's latest release of patterns, Thank you. and... So exciting. Her latest large pattern is called Rainbow Rainforest. I like that one. Cute. Super cute. Cute, cute, cute. It has a monkey. Is that a rhino? Oh no, it's anteater by the looks of it. Hi, Raywin. Crocodile. Gippy on board this week. Well done. <laughs> um... She usually puts their names on them. Maybe oh, they're inside. They might be inside. They'll be inside. Yeah, a sloth and a. I love oh, the there's sloth. an anteater. Is that a cheetah? Yep. And a capybara. I wouldn't Possibly. know what that is. And it's a, an Australian and animal. And a narwhal. And a toucan. A toucan. Yep. Very, very cute, anyway. And very nice. As always, she gives you various size options as well. Clever lady, this lady. And then. Which we save till last. Oh, that one, I, I, think I think that one, that's my favourite. Okay. So, pandas in sweaters. Pandas in sweaters are super cute. So cute. And little llamas. See, I've bought that one. Well, so we've had Lloyd and Lola daughter. before, but this is little llamas. Little llamas. See, Rachel, Very my daughter in law, would like that. And then this one, which we have ordered the fabric. This is Social Sharks. They're super they cute. are the cutest. So we these lovely wovens will be a few months till they get here, but we have ordered that whole range of these wovens. So if you look at the pattern and decide that oh I've just noticed their teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see that? This the the grin in it, yeah. <laughs> so social sharks, very, very, very cute. So So yeah. Tegan likes the pandas and Linda likes the llamas. 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 Den llamas Is it so Denny? Denny? Yes. <laughs> llamas. Llamas. Absolutely. Uh, I've got the llama pattern. I'm going to make And that. some people do try and turn the llamas into alpacas, don't they? We've had that. Well, yes. I think you have yes. to do something. You have to. I don't know what. Isn't it the size do of the ears? Do you make the ears straight or bent or I'm not something. sure. If I ask yeah. Rachel, she'll tell different. me. She says the ears are different. She'll know. Mm. Yeah. So that's exciting. Cool. Anyway, so I've been working really hard on my project. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. I think that's very good. But I did do something. So I decided that, well, the girls of a lot of, our, of us here are uh, working with the panel and just sort of thinking of things to do with the panel. Yep. Oh, hi, Cathy. Um, so I've got an idea. It's a twinkling in my head, and it's getting on the computer as well at the moment. So, yep. But I just thought that um, I'd show you how cool they look when you separate out the sections and frame them. So it's just simple frame That's on the beautiful. Keraroo. And that I've done with Aruba Grunge, which there's a little tale about that. I'll tell you in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> but I just think they look so cool when you separate them and you really highlight the beautiful things. Patterns are the panels are going oh, thank fast. Thank you, Gay. Um, yeah, so don't don't miss out because I think there will be more coming about December or something. But if you're wanting to make any Christmas presents, I would grab one now. Mm. Um, and the same goes for the fabric on the bolt. Yep, the coordinating one. There's a huge amount of that. <laughs> that's all that's <laughs> so, yeah. Yep. 
so um yeah so I'm, I'm starting to work and i'm not going to make i was tempted but i'm not going to make promises about what i'm going to make with this because <laughs> i've done that before Yes, and, <laughs> and then I put pressure on myself and get stressed. Mm. So I'm not going to. It's going to be a little surprise. But I will show you a little demo of what I did to trim up the block in a moment. So I bet you tell them what you did to your grunge. <gasps> okay. I've been tidying up my sewing room because yes. our middle bedroom is now not a spare bedroom because we've got the caravan for that. It's uh, like a filming studio, so I'm moving all my filming into there. And so now my sewing room, I can actually walk around the middle. There's a bit of carpet I can see. <laughs> and I can get to the cupboard. So in the cupboard, I found one of my irons that I love. It's a lovely, heavy, gets very hot, has a very pointy tip, and it's really, really good. And I went, oh, yay. And um, I found it, and I plugged it in, and silly me decided to um, iron the grunge <laughs> without testing it on a towel first and guess what it did oh <laughs> dear. spit 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 black as anything oh. all over this fat quarter did it all come out yeah wow you were lucky i put vanish on it straight away stuck it in and just and then i rinsed it and then i tumble dried it and then it's here well done so there you go <sighs> Helen Jean, can you say hi to Maddie, my granddaughter, who's staying with me and enjoying your lovely projects and material that you are showing us? Hi, Maddie! Hi, Maddie! Maddie! <laughs> Everybody say hi! Hi, Maddie! <laughs> oh, That's it's lovely exciting. when the young ones look, watch, isn't it? Yes. Yep. Yep. I hope, Maddie, I hope you're doing some sewing. Have a go at some sewing School with School holidays, yeah, yeah. It'll be great. It's fun. Hi, Susan. So, yes, so that's our projects for this week. So let's show you. We have been I'm looking in the wrong place. So it's down, <laughs> it's <here>. down there. <laughs> Should I get some? Oh, what Fabio's is fine. Ruby Star. Yes, oh, I've, got got yep. I've got it here. I've got it here. So right here this week, Fabiosa was looking around the shop for a nice bargain and she found Ruby Star Society. Now we've got one of these packs left. This is Ruby Star Crescent. If you ever saw me do the um, panel, I did some work with the panel last year in lockdown. Didn't That's I? right, you did. It's you did. the panel with the sewing machine mm. and the bear and the owls and the unicorn. Beautiful, beautiful panel and beautiful fabrics. So that is 125 normally, but it's 25% off. Oh, so well done. That's reduced. We've only got that one left. Have we got any other oh, panels? We've left? got one. We've got one panel. We've got left. one panel left. So one panel hanging up. And then the only thing. other crescent fabrics we have left are this one. That's lovely, isn't it? And this one with unicorns dancing in front of the moon. And then there's a brushed. This is the brushed range that goes with it. Yeah. So that's on. They're all on sale. And then the next range of theirs, and I've put these on sale as well. I absolutely adore these. This is called, I've forgotten again. Is it on it? Airflow. So this is Tigers. Oh, and yummy. Actually, this one we've got quite a lot of, and it's amazing. Look at that. Imagine that on the back of a quilt or something, or as a border. I can actually see it as a bag. <gasps> Beautiful. Yes. That's that one. This, a lot of these have got some metallic on, so this is metallic. Then there's some more of this, but this is in the bright pink. That's yeah, mm. I like the pink. Yeah. And another one of the heathery ones with the metallic. And the bluey. Oh, so a lot of out. these, is, there's like maybe a metre, just over a metre on the bolt. But yeah. um, some of them, there's plenty. All of these... There's actually plenty, and they're amazing. Aren't they gorgeous? That one's another nice one, isn't it? Yeah, and this one. I mean, I think we did start with rather a lot of this fab of this um, range. We I did have a lot. whole yep. range, didn't we? Yeah. There's some cranes. This is a beautiful large print. This one. What's left on this? There's about. Um, just over a metre of that left, maybe a metre and a half. And finally, 
This is the heather print again with the metallic on and a lighter pink. Very, very pretty. Yes. Can we see the owl one again, please? The owl one. Oh, in the crescent. Yes. Oh, excuse me. This one? I think that's the one. It's got yes, an owl it's on got, it. Yes. Is that the one? It's got an owl and it's got a, a bear. bear. Hedgehogs. And it's unicorns, got hedgehogs and rabbits. unicorns and butterflies and moons and flowers. Very pretty. Yes, they would make great placemats. They'd be amazing, wouldn't they? Hello, Di. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice to see people. Oh, Marie, something's happened to the sound. Can everybody hear us? Oh. It could be your sound, Marie. I don't know. We haven't pressed anything. Can, Tegan says, can she get a metre of that put aside and she'll come in on Thursday, please. Oh, oh. okay. Just... Mm. You can pop on the website. If you go on the website, Tegan, and, and, and do it, you'll it get in it. There. She'll grab what, or do you want to grab whatever's left? As long as we can't take it off the website right now, that's the only thing. Mm. So go on, the, go on the website, Tegan. If and we then. can, we will do it when we finish, but mm. yeah, just make sure. Other people can hear us. Yeah, good. Yep, that's good, great. good, good. Yes, it's, it's on the website. On the website. <laughs> yeah, look up present. <laughs> Yeah, they're all on the website. So, oh. so that was very exciting. It was. It was. Fabio's has done a good choice there. She has. Yeah. Oh, my favourite fabric. Oh, shall we show the mats first? Let's show you. The, okay. So these these are the two things that were in this morning's newsletter. If you got it, so the ruby star. There's a link to that in your newsletter this morning. There's also a link to this. Excuse me, while I just. Magic from nowhere. <laughs> That's magic. So these are really cute and very useful. I have one, a mat sort of this size next to me when I'm sewing often. It's a good size. Good for trimming your corners and things like that. And for carrying when you're going somewhere or yep. if you're doing English paper piecing. So this is six inch by eight inch Creative Grids mat and it's $14. So pretty good. But we thought we'd show you all the sizes of their mats that we've got. So we've got um, a 12 by 18. I've only got one of these in stock at the moment, but we will be getting more. Margaret just bought one this morning. Yes, you did, Margaret. Did. I believe it's right it's ready in to its go. pack, ready to go. It's ready to go. Yeah. This is the 18 by 24. So that's your average size that most people use most of the time. Getting bigger and bigger. Getting bigger. Are we ready? <laughs> this is the super duper if you've got a nice big table. This is huge. This is 24 by 36. And it is massive. Yay. So I won't show you on this one because it's a bit heavy, a bit big to hold up, but I'll just show you what the measure the um, markings are like on them because they're quite neat. Now I don't use a map for measuring unless I'm measuring something quite big, and then I do. So if I was making a bag or something like that, I use the mat because it's much easier and it's not a critical thing. But for accuracy, if I'm piecing and I want to be really accurate, I always use a ruler. I don't use the mat. Yep. However, I do use the mat to go, oh, what size is that roughly? Yep, I <laughs> and, do too. And that sort of thing. Yep. And also it's quite reassuring, I think, as well to have your markings on. So this is inch markings on this side and it's got eighth of an inch Might divisions lift it, lift it higher lift it up so they can yeah. see the eight so it's, there's eighth of an inch divisions there's angle markings there's even eighth of a yard quarter of a yard third of a yard and three eighths of a yard and half a yard so if you've got a pattern that says you need that much fabric it's perfect you don't have to calculate it's it. even got degrees on them yep it's double-sided double-sided and this has got them um, it's still inches on both sides. So that's well your creative done. grids mats. Now you can show them Brenda. Yay! She's very excited. I am excited. So one of the boxes that came in today, or actually came in yesterday, but I didn't open it till this morning. So exciting because I thought, mm, probably grunge or something, you know. Anyway, super duper excited because it was my favourite designer. Ooh, can we see? Lynette Anderson. Lynette. Ooh. <laughs> now, 
we've got I think there's 25 fabrics here so later on today I am going to list it as an option that you can buy a fat quarter bundle I'll leave them for you to show and I'll pass them over and it's called corner of the woods sold my first piece of it today oh I noticed that the first thing somebody bought this morning was a piece of this and look at that beautiful isn't that cute they're going to fussy so cut the says center says, owls in trees are watching over the woods and Mr. Badger is sharing some berries. This so cute. I'll, I'll let you wait and see. You can read the rest later. So there's lots of blenders to go with. And it comes in this this sort of navy-ish, indigo-ish type colours. And then this is um, a sort of pinky. It looks a bit grey on the screen. So I always call these... And I've classified these under taut for colour because they're that sort of off, you know, not, not really strong, bright colour. Quite color. a sludgy colour, aren't they? Quite sludgy, that's the yeah. word, yeah. yeah. But this is a sludgy purple, pinky yep. purple. Scrumdiddly umptious. Yes. And then we have some blues, light blues. I love the bees. I love the bees. The bees are cute. So some of these still wrapped up in plastic a bit, but yeah. yeah. There's I'm bees. There's little birds on nests, and then there's like an overall woodland scene. You'll be able to see it when you look on the website because they're all up, they will all be up there soon. <laughs> when I <laughs> when I mark them as in stock, they'll start showing. <laughs> Tegan says she's back. She just ordered it. <laughs> um, this one is is alphabet. Do you want to keep showing? Um, and then I'll just show what the colours are like. So we've got. Like deep, deep blues, we've got pinkies, we've got light blues, we've got greens, and then oh, light greens, sort of minty. That's sort of a minty green, that one. And then there's a, a brown colourway. Well, it's sort of a pinky brown. Sort of pinky like brown. Mushroom. Yeah, mushroom, that's the one. But I mean, if you've used her fabrics before, you'll recognise some of these colours. So she does she's quite consistent with them and there are some a bit darker brown as well oh it's just so lovely <laughs> Ooh, the woodland. so um yes i just need to process the invoice and then they'll appear magically on the website they're all in the system they just don't show until they it till it knows that we've got stock so um that will be appearing very soon it's exciting. It is exciting. What's well, next on our list? I'm not going to do pick of the week yet. Okay. I'm going to do a little demo. Okay. I'm going to show you what I did with my panel. It's a cool idea. Yeah. So as you may know, we've got... Right, let, I'm going to just switch you over to demo mode a moment. Hey, that says demo. Why is it so... Weird. There we go. Hello. <laughs> That's my phone. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this ruler, the, the 12 and a half inch square, is our ruler of the month for October. So, 10% off this ruler this month. I've been using mine today. So, this is something you can do with any of the large rulers, really. Um, but, I did find my square very handy. Um, I think I've got one. I did bring it, but now I can't see it. Oh, it's behind the computer. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so what I do, like, so I don't know if you, if any of you have used panels before. I can see you're upside down, so might see. No, I can't turn you around because you'll be in my way. Um, so if you've used panels before, you'll know that they don't. They just can't print them exactly perfectly. I mean, this is digital, so it's printed probably the best any panel will ever be. Um, but they're still not exactly perfect measurements. So I just thought I'd show you what I do. There's a few ways around it. One is that you can cut the panel out just the way it is, and then you can then add a border to it and then trim your border to size. So that's like calling... Um, using a coping strip, that's what I call that. Um, 
the other the thing I did with this one was I've put my quarter inch mark, I don't know if you can see that very well. So here, there's the corner of my ruler. I'm just pushing the ruler up. So I'm putting the quarter inch mark on the outside of the um, design. And this is actually printed pretty square. So it's not quite square, but I've just sort of fudged it a little bit. So, And then I'm going to use my square to cut so that I know the piece I've got is nice and square. So I'm going to cut up here and I've put the quarter inch line on so that you won't see any of this border when I sew it. Because they often don't look, it's quite nice if you can get rid of the surrounding. Either leave it there deliberately if there's enough of it or completely get rid of it. Um, because little little peaks of it don't look all that good. So then I'm just going to turn around. So I've cut my two sides at a quarter of an inch off. Now I'm going to line up this side. And if I put the quarter, quarter inch mark straight along here, it's not straight down here so I'm just going to squish over here a bit. It's actually really close but the other thing I'm thinking of doing is that when I add pieces I'd quite like to bring this up to a nice measurement that's easy to work out and at the moment my line over here if I put that on, if I put that side on a quarter of an inch away from the edge of the panel the measurement over here is something like nine and fifteen sixteenths and ugh, yuck I don't want that so I'm going to come over a little bit this way so because I don't want to have any of this dark green in there so I've moved over this way and that does mean that when I sew it I'll lose a tiny bit of the pattern here but it's not going to be critical and then I'm going to make it Looks like ten and a half is a nice, no, not ten and a half, I'm going to make it nine and three quarters. Nine and three quarters is going to be a nice measurement. So it's a nice number I can work with. And I'm going to lose a little bit off that side, but I'm not going to cry about that. And then coming down this way, if I put this, but this bottom line, let me just see, you can see, this bottom line here, I'm going to line this up on six and three quarters. So I've got nine and three quarters that way, six and three quarters that way, off the nice square corner I've already cut. And then I'm going to have a nice piece that's a comfortable size that's going to work in with any other pieces I want to add to it. And there it is. There's my little... There, yeah, you can see him. Oh, no, turn him up the other way. There you go. <laughs> That's my little fun tail. So he's now ready. Um, the piece that I did that I framed, I used inch and a half strips. So now all I need to do is to cut my inch and a half strips to the same size. I'm going to put my top ones on first. So they're going to be nine and three quarters. I'm just going to cut those. Nine and three quarters. Let's just make sure. No, it's not. It's ten and a quarter. Measure twice, cut once. Ten and a quarter. That's what I'm going to do there. So I've got two pieces that are ten and a quarter by one and a half. There and there. And then when I sew them on, I can then measure this way. And then that should be, why do I do this to myself? <laughs> Maths on the fly. So that's six and three quarters. So it's going to be six and a quarter finished. And so when I've sewn these on, I'm going to add two and a half. I think it should be eight and three quarters, but don't quote me on that. Just measure it if you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do that on the fly, get it right. So, so yeah, so basically then I can frame him 
and then I can either put him in a quilt with some of the other blocks and make some fillers to put in between or I could make him into a little mug rug. Oh look there's a piece there that's exactly the right size, look at that. Oh, I don't know how I ended up with that one. Anyway, no it won't be, not by the time I've added the top and bottom. No. <laughs> so that's what, what I did basically, just cutting it out so that it's, it's got square corners and the corners are kind of, you know, everything's making sense as a whole rectangle and then it makes adding things just much easier um, if you get it to a nice comfortable size before you carry on. Yeah, so very handy. Very, very yes. handy. And I have had lots of fun actually being able to walk around my sewing room this morning. It's it lovely. <laughs> can hardly walk around mine. It's a terrible state. I do have a little. Oh, hi, I do Vicky. have a little wall corner. Vicky's on. Yay, Vicky! Hey, Vicky. Well done. <laughs> so yeah. So I'm going to plow away and carry on. The other colour that I picked to go with my panel of grunge is called cinnabar. And this is about my favourite grunge. I love it. It's actually got some hints of pink in it. Beautiful. Isn't that nice? But I shall use that judiciously. I won't put too much of it in. Just little pops. Little pops. That'll be lovely. Nice. Yes. Yep. Might even start introducing some other colours, but I haven't decided yet. No, we sure. can't give the game away yet. No, we? can't. No. <laughs> Just little teasers. Yeah. So if if I get time to do some more on it this week, I will show you next week. And if I don't, then I won't feel guilty, will I? No. Good. But like, but like me, because I don't get time to do everything all the time either. So. Oh yeah, we're all like that. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. So cool. Right, what are we going to do now? Oh, a pick of the week. Right, so I have put all the picks of the week that are still available are now up on the website. If you go to shop and just in the top left and look down the menu, there's a pick of the week section. There's also a Fabiosa's find section. So yep. um, that's how to find all of those. And um, so some of those are still reduced where we want to move them on and some of them are not. It just depends. Um, and we have a new one, but I'm going to go and grab it because I didn't bring it. I don't even know so what it is. I have to keep everybody entertained. Oh, no, not again. Okay. And I can't remember the pricing I either. So I can try. I'll say hello to Valerie. I'll tell you about it and then I'll go and put it on the wall. Oh, Denny thinks your fa your fabrics are a super match, and they are too. And um, Christina says such a handy ruler um, square, which is quite true. It is. It is. Yeah, it's really good. Here we go. Oh, that's right. I forgot. So oh. we have a lady that wanted to us to put a kit together for this. So we thought let's put a kit together for it. So this is the um, quilt, as you can see. I'll just bring it forward and over, so you can actually see that there's lovely little farm animals. Um, so it's called um, it Animal is, Whimsy. It is Animal Whimsy. And we've got cows and sheep and chickens and roosters and ducks, pigs. So what I've done is I've, um, I know I'm talking off camera, sorry everybody. Go, <laughs> I'm, in, go, I'm on the wrong side. Oh, do you want to scoot over? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can scoot over. Yes, sorry. <laughs> no, she says no. Nope. <laughs> I thought let's put my twist on this. So in terms of the colours, they are going to be what I've chosen rather than trying to go exactly off the pattern. Yes. So we have some nice bright bracket backgrounds for the. So you see these blocks. The all each of the animals is on a background colour, a nice bright colour. So we're we're going to be doing the white for the background, and this and the black around for the. Except my, I might change that up a little, but we'll see. Um, but basically a black for this here. Yep. And then where she's used browns and tans, I've gone more slate greys and nice that sort of thing. So my backgrounds are all nice, bright, beautiful Alison bright. glass. We go that way. Do you want yes. to pass these this way? Are you right? That's okay. You're okay. I'm trying not to jog the table because everybody get dizzy. It's a nice blue eye. Tegan, you do need a rotary cutter. <laughs> Are you using scissors? 
so much easier with a rotary cutter. Are these all the backgrounds? See, they're all backgrounds. And wow. some of these are also used in some of the applique as Ooh. well. Some nice but backgrounds, nice and bright, fresh. Will be your backgroundy colours. Nice and fresh. And then your mm. colours for your animals, as well as those, some of those, like the yellows and things like that. There's like a yellow duck and yeah. So sometimes those colours have been used, but things like your piggy, super cute, and the goat. I like the goat. That will be so cool as the goat. <laughs> And then I can't remember who that one's going to be. I think that's the donkey. Be the dog. Oh, the, the dog? dog's a bit spotty. Oh, okay. I think this is the horse. Nice. And this is the piggy's ears. So it's going to be very and bright. The piggy's face and the nose and the cow's nose. That's that sort of cross stitch one. Um, what am I doing that one? I think I decided to. This is the scarf of the horse. That's right. And then this is the. This is part of the donkey, his nose, I think. And I think that's the donkey's face. That's pretty so, cool. Yeah. I have a list, so you'll know. <laughs> she does. <laughs> Made a spreadsheet. Very, very organised. <laughs> you have to make spreadsheets for you these do. things. You do. <sighs> so that's that's going to be the pick of the week. When I get it listed up there, I have got my spreadsheet, so I should know the pricing. Yep. But it will be a good price this week only. After that, it will be a good price, but not as good as it's going to be this week. That's right. So, yeah. Okay. It must be time. <sighs> Giveaway time. Yay. What are we giving away <laughs> this down week? There. Oh, not my mask. Yeah. So last week's giveaway was, if you remember. That's right. It was these, wasn't it? The pin cushion and. Hits. Brenda has been and chosen the lovely fabrics that are coming out. So there was winners. a bright and a, oh, that way. I don't know if you can see a that. A bright and a, not so bright, soft. Soft, pretty. Soft yep. and pretty. And a bright. Yeah. Yep. So those are going to be the prizes for that we're going to draw today. Yep. So we'll do that first and then we will do the... Right, okay. Got a pen. Bren, I need a pen. Got a pen. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's the one giving away. <laughs> Excuse yes, me. You can put a green dot by oh, it with okay. the white with Okay, the yes, marker. we'll do this. Sorry. We're usually a bit more organised, aren't we? <laughs> we'll no surprise. That. Never mind. <laughs> We're doing all right. We're doing all right. So, A, giveaway okay. A. Giveaway A. We have 30, 38, 38 people. Yes. yes. Oh, is it double-sided? No, it's 38 people. Oops, not 330. Right. Okay, are we ready? Steady and randomise. Number 10. Number 10 is Karen. Karen. Karen Duncan. Yay. Winner. Winner A. Bright and beautiful. Yep. And then what have I got for? <clears throat> we have got a six, 16. 16. Oh, that's tiny writing. It's 15 actually. Oh, 15. Oh, I did not make number 16. Number nine. Number nine is Denny O'Connor. Denny. Well done, Denny. Well done, ladies. And you're both here. You that were is so earlier. cool. <laughs> so if you stayed around. That's cool. You know, that's three <laughs> weeks in a row we've had locals winning. That's great, That isn't is it? awesome. Yep. Cool, cool. Well done. Congratulations. Congratulations, ladies. So <clears throat> for this week's giveaway, we thought we'd start giving away some Christmas fabrics because yes. it's not far away. No, it's not. So if you haven't been on our Christmas section on the website, do have a look because we've got a lot. There. A lot of different styles of we Christmas do. fabrics. We do. So this is our giveaway A. This is from Merry Merry Snow Days. Pink. My with page. a blue friction marker these are the yep. iron off markers yep beautiful i always say though take care test these markers out first and if they, you think they're likely to come back wash your quilt because they can come back it's when it's cold yep. i've had i've had it happen once to one quilt but when i washed it it disappeared oh that was good so that's my experience with it anyway I know, but we have to, Tegan, because it takes time to sew things. <laughs> <laughs> and this is also from Merry Merry Snow Days. So there's yeah, Christmas another trees good one. and little candy canes. candy canes. And that comes with a black friction marker pen. Well done. So those are our prizes this week. 
A is now, for pink. A is pink and B is red. Yep. And um, just go on the website and at the top you will find um, giveaway entry. Yep. So that's how to find the entry form. And if you're on your phone or an iPad, it's, I think, down the side. But just look in all the menus and you'll find it. Awesome. And I think that's... Is that's 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 Zinny's in today. tomorrow. She's going to be quick. She says, I'm in tomorrow. Woo need needles. <laughs> <laughs> look forward to seeing you, Denny. Lovely. Well, the rain's reached here from Carterton. It has indeed. While we've been talking. So, yep. um, yeah, we're going to get wet. Our gardens are going to get watered. So they are. That would be good. Yeah. Yes, definitely. And I think that's us for today. So um, thank you very much, everybody. And thanks for staying around. Yes. We've been on quite long today. We have been on a while Had today. Had to show you. No, Gay didn't feel the earthquake. No, we didn't. <laughs> everybody else did. We didn't. <laughs> didn't even hear anything. No. We must be deaf and... I think we were just too busy and focused yeah, on... Yeah, we were quite focused yep. on getting ready. So. We were. <laughs> Thank you cool. for visiting everybody. Thank you, Happy everybody. Stitching. Have a lovely weekend. Bye. Or week and weekend of stitching. We'll see Absolutely. you next week. See ya. Bye.